What amount did Jean earn from commissions on her sales in the first half of 1988? So we're looking for a dollar amount that she earned. Presumably we'd need to know the dollar amount of sales as well as the percent of the commissions. That would be typical information to figure out how much she earned from commissions. So statement number one tells us that Jean's commission, in 1988, Jean's commission was 5% of the total amount of her sales. Well, this statement is interesting. It does sound like it's giving us percent, but here we're talking about in 1988, that is to say the whole year, not just the first half of the year. And we're told that the commission of 5%, it's 5% 5 of her total sales for the year. We don't know if that is equally distributed or if that's an average. In other words, if sometimes during the year she's making 10 and 15%, sometimes she's making only 1% and it averaged out to 5%. We have no idea about that. All we know is that it's 5% of the total for the entire year. So this statement by itself does not allow us to answer the question. This statement is insufficient. So leave statement number one behind. Consider statement number two by itself. The amount of Jean's sales in the second half of 1988 averaged $10,000 per month more than in the first half of 1988. So if we think of 1988 as an entire expanse here, in the first half, if she was making K dollars in sales per month, well then, in the second half, she's making K plus $10,000 worth of sales per month. All right, well, that's interesting. That gets us a little closer to just the amount of how much she has in sales, but by itself, that's still insufficient. Because both statements are insufficient, we combine them. And naively, you might think things look promising here because we do have information about about dollar amount of sales, we do have information about percent of commission, but we actually have no way to figure out from statement number two the actual dollar amount that she made in sales in the first half of the year. So that's unknown. And in statement number one, we still haven't resolved all these questions about that 5%. Is that 5% an average? Is it something that was applied exactly the same in each month, or did it vary from month to month? Again, we have no idea the answers to any of these questions. So it turns out that even with both statements, we still have a number of unanswered questions and are not able to answer the question posed. So statement number one, statement number two, as well as the combined statements are all insufficient and the answer is E.